I was having a conversation with ChatGPT Atlas the other day, which is OpenAI's new browser. And we were talking about the potential of agentic search being the lightning fast new way people use the internet to do things like book trips, find information and really anything else. And I went down this rabbit hole where I was thinking about the most defensible ways that directories could monetize because it directly impacts whether or not I would stay in this lane or move to something completely different. And long story short, one of the most defensible ways Ways that a directory can monetize well into the future is through a SaaS. And I think that makes a lot of sense. If you can build brand, dominate an industry, then you have a sticky product that business owners will depend upon. In this video, I have three different directory and SaaS combos where I vet the directory niche itself from an SEO perspective. And I also look at the SaaS that is kind of industry specific to see what types of features there are. So let's dive right into these three directory and SaaS combos that I personally would consider building in. So the first directory idea that I really like for a directory and SaaS combo is Rage Rooms. I've actually come across this niche before in Ahrefs and did a little bit of research on it. The last thing that I remembered is that it's hard because there's a lot of individual Rage Rooms that are dominating the front page of Google. And since there's so many Rage Rooms in the United States, it's actually harder than you think to rank for these keywords like Rage Room Atlanta, Rage Room Chicago, Houston, Dallas. Normally when I see such local business dominance, it means that I would stay away from a niche like this. But because we're monetizing with a SaaS rather than ads or featured listings, getting a thousand visitors a month to a directory like this means so much more than it would if I were monetizing in a different way. Now, originally I thought that Rage Rooms was just gonna be a trend that went away, but after checking it on Google Trends and looking at the past five years, we can see that it has been pretty consistent in terms of people searching this stuff up. And it kind of peaked around March to April, 2023, but it's still pretty popular. And clearly there's still hundreds of thousands of people searching this stuff up every single month. Another thing that I like about this niche is that there are roughly seven to 800 estimated raid rooms in the United States, and they're usually ran by small teams, which means it's not too difficult to contact the owner or get in touch with them and then sell them this SaaS, maybe even sell them the distribution and the SaaS in one package and then go from there. In a moment, I'm going to show you a Rage Room specific software. But first, I wanted to show you this directory that came up. It's called RageDischarge.com. And it is a directory that basically comes out with all these articles. They have these locations here. And they basically mapped out all the Rage Rooms by state in a pillar page style format like this. And when I looked it up, they're getting about 300 monthly visitors, which isn't a lot. But if you look at how bare bones this is from an SEO perspective, it's pretty inspiring. They have a DR of zero. They don't have any strong backlinks. These 45 backlinks, a lot of them are just spam backlinks, as we can tell here. They started around July 2024, so it's not a very new directory at all. And they only have 39 pages, yet they are still able to rank for some pretty nice keywords. If we look at Salem, Oregon Rage Rooms, which is the kind of pillar page for Salem, Oregon, we can see that they're ranking position three for the keyword Rage Room Salem, Oregon. That's pretty good. I mean, <laughs> I don't know about you, but I would take that any day of the week. And this is not that hard of a directory to go and improve upon. So why do I think this is a good SaaS and directory combo? Well, I found this website called easyweek.io and it says software for rage rooms. They're currently ranking number one when I type in software for rage rooms. This is how I found it. We can see them right at the top right here. And when I was looking at the features for this software, it wasn't super complex. And I don't think it's insane to say that you could vibe code something very similar. In my opinion, it's mostly an online booking platform that is kind of catered to rage rooms. We can see all the features here. They do have a free option and they do have a paid one, which doesn't cost that much. But I would imagine that once a rage room finds a software that they use for booking all of their customers, it's likely very sticky if they're satisfied with the software. I'm sure a lot of the people running these rage room businesses don't want to migrate to another platform. So the LTV or the lifetime value of a client could be pretty valuable. Let's see. Besides online booking, they have SMS reminders. They have online payments, a POS system unlimited bookings, single user access and multiple user access for the more expensive plan. I'm not seeing anything that is really, really difficult to go and build. And maybe that's kind of naive for me to say because I've never built a directory in SaaS combo, but I feel like I've implemented similar things with my AI coded directory. What's interesting is that EasyWeek does not specialize in Rage Room software. If we go to solutions, we can see that they have all of these industries and a hundred other industries where they've repurposed their same products. And when 
I looked them up on Ahrefs, we can see that they're only getting 2,200 monthly visitors. They started around 2021 and they're clearly buying backlinks because there's this insane growth of referring domains in the last few years and their backlinks to referring domains ratio just looks really off, which tells me probably a lot of spam links. So they have 3.4 million backlinks. And if we go to best links only, then that drops to 1,069 best backlinks out of 3.4 million. A lot of them are just easyweek.com or easyweek.ru. It seems like they own a bunch of other domains and they're just linking to themselves, which is not really that strong in terms of a backlink profile. Just based on the backlinks alone, I don't think this would be very difficult to outrank if you created a dedicated Rage Room directory and a software, because if you build it correctly, then you'll have the advantage of topical authority and topical relevance. So I really like this niche. I will say one of the caveats with this is that there's not a lot of search volume around Rage Room software or related keywords. In fact, if we look at these 1.1K organic keywords that they're ranking for, and we separate the keywords that have anything to do with Rage Rooms, we can see that there's only 21 keywords out of 3,500 keywords that they're ranking for that have something to do with Rage Rooms. And a lot of them are Rage Room business plan, how to start a Rage Room. I guess I can see the logic here. They're targeting these keywords and creating articles around them, like how to open up a range room. Pretty sure this is a big typo, but they are targeting people who are trying to build these businesses up and use them as top of the funnel for their Rage Room software. So that's the only caveat. There's no keyword like Rage Room software that's getting hundreds or thousands of monthly searches. So you will have to be more creative, but that's why the directory exists. If you have a directory that gets a couple thousand monthly visitors, you can use that as leverage to go and approach these Rage Room business owners and also mention, hey, we have a software as well. So for these reasons, I really like this one and I think someone should go and build it. So the second niche where I think a directory and SaaS combo could work out really well is sensory deprivation tanks. And I think there are other keywords you can target like float therapy near me doesn't get as much search volume but kind of similar search intent this niche does have less search volume there's only 32,000 total monthly searches for keywords containing sensory deprivation tank and in google trends we can see that both float therapy and the keyword sensory deprivation tank kind of peaked around late 2020 early 2021 but i would be surprised if this thing died off and stopped becoming a thing that people do with that said this article says that the floating tank market is still a 3.2 billion dollar industry in 2025, and it's projected to reach a $7.5 billion market by 2033. From a directory perspective, I did find flotationlocations.com, which is a directory for float therapy, and it kind of maps these locations out. I would say that this is a good example, but I don't think it's the best example of what would happen to your traffic because they were crushing it in 2018, 2019 with over 10,000 monthly visitors. And you can see this chart, the orange line shows their traffic declining ever since around 2021. This could indicate a macro trend of floating therapy just becoming less popular over the years, but I also see that they've been aggressively trying to grow their backlinks and referring domains as indicated by this blue line, which could have led to traffic loss because Google doesn't like low quality backlinks. It can get you penalized, it can get you de-indexed, and it's generally not a very good SEO strategy. I can't say for a fact that this represents overall interest for floating tanks. It could just be a penalized website. With that said, I don't think it'd be that hard for a directory to succeed in this niche. This is one of the more dominant ones. Yes, it only has 1.2k monthly visitors, but their backlink game isn't very strong. They have 1100 backlinks and a DR53. But when we take a deeper look, only 70 of these backlinks are considered best links by Ahrefs. And if we go a layer deeper, we can see that only a couple of these backlinks get actual page traffic. And the actual referring page has little to nothing to do with sensory deprivation tanks. Like this one says 41 best boss day gifts and ideas. Michael Scott approved. So I think if you built this out and you got a couple strong and relevant backlinks with real traffic, you can easily overtake these guys from an SEO perspective. So moving on to the SaaS, you would have to compete with this website here, Helmbot.com. And this is the number one ranking software for float therapy businesses, sensory deprivation tank businesses. And you can see that when I typed in sensory deprivation tank software, they showed up right at the top. Apparently they're the most used scheduling software in the float industry.
chemistry and some of the software features are right over here. You can track your water chemistry and tank readings, choose a schedule that works, customers can book services, and an automatic email drip campaign. Now these three features I think are pretty easy to build. This one kind of gave me a little bit of concern so I kind of did a little bit more research and I found some reviews around Helmbot and there's 69 reviews, 4.9 stars, and I started reading some of the features that people got the most value from and just to save you time a lot of them said that the booking software is the main reason why they chose Helmbot. I even found this review from Matt who said that they would have switched to Helmbot earlier but the only thing that stopped them was the cost because they're a larger facility. So this might give you an insight on where your competitive edge could be. We can see that this software isn't that cheap compared to the Rage Room software and I think the features are pretty similar but this scales up pretty quickly. It goes from $95 to $275 a month and I feel like the only feature that's really different and catered to float therapy businesses is this one right here. But based on the reviews, I don't think that that's the primary feature that people want when they're trying to find a software for their float therapy business. Again, I never made a directory SaaS combo, but in my opinion, I think a lot of these features can be replicated with Claude Code or some AI coding tool. And then you can even price it slightly cheaper, which means the only question left is, can you outrank these guys from an SEO perspective? Looking at their website in Ahrefs, I think this is also very possible. This entire website is only 14 pages. So there are so many other opportunities that they can unlock. There are so many more topical authority signals that you can gain by having a directory around flow tanks and then layering on blog posts around flow tank software, comparison articles, that kind of stuff. But yeah, this is a very small website and they're still managing to get 175 visitors, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it's not bad for a website dedicated to flow tank software. They're also only ranking for 24 keywords. And out of these 24, there are some keywords that we can target like float scheduling, I think is pretty good. Float software could be another one, although it does say branded. So I'd have to double check on that. But you can also just target Helmbot because it's a branded keyword getting 80 monthly searches. And again, that's when you can do comparison articles, Helmbot versus your software, and then kind of list the features and then use that as top of the funnel for leads to your SaaS. I think the most interesting thing about this combo and this niche is just the price of this software. If this is the most used software in the float tank industry, then I think you can kind of compete with them on price while having maybe a more modern UI, modern UX. So that's where the opportunity in this lies. Now, the last niche where I think a directory and SaaS combo could work really well is massage therapist. And we can see that almost 300,000 monthly searches are being made for keywords containing massage therapist. There's also a bunch of other keywords with even more search volume like massages near me. So this is not the only one. It's just the most professional sounding one because there's a lot of dicey keywords that contain the word massage on Ahrefs. So I just kept it to this for now. What's interesting about this niche is that it's the only niche in this video that has search volume around the actual booking software. Here we can see that 500 people every single month are searching up a massage booking software. I think why this number is so big is because there's a ton of licensed massage therapists in the United States. 321,000 in 2023, according to the American Massage Therapy Association. Even if 1% of these massage therapists veered off and created their own massage business, that's still a lot of massage therapists looking to purchase their own booking software. Now, the fact that this niche is so big is both the worst worst thing about this niche and the best thing about this niche. The challenge here is that from a directory and a SaaS perspective, there are a lot of competitors. There's massive directories to compete with like massagefinder.com that gets 38,000 monthly visitors. There's other competitors as well like Masseur Finder, which gets a reported 117,000 monthly visitors. Massagebook.com that gets 111,000 monthly visitors. So there are a lot of massage related directories to compete with, but there also are a lot of winners. And I'm pretty sure if you just have great on-page SEO, and you do a good job executing on a valuable massage directory, you could probably get a few thousand monthly visitors pretty easily. Now let's talk about the massage booking software. There are a ton of competitors. When typing this into Google, we can see all of these companies, and some of them are like multi-million dollar companies. I think Massage Book is doing like $3 million a year. At first, I thought this was a deal breaker, and I thought there's no way that you can penetrate this industry. But when I looked into it a little bit more, and I looked on Reddit, I started reading what types of softwares that massage therapists were going to. And that's when I found this post around the best scheduling systems for massage therapists, which is its own little community here. And reading through this thread, I realized that there's not one company that's the dominant player. This person says they use a massage book. We have Vagaro, Clinico, Acuity. This person uses Simply Book, and it's just kind of all over the place. 
So while there are a lot of competitors, I think this also presents a unique SEO opportunity that I haven't seen a lot of these websites do, which are comparison articles. And you can basically create a blog where you say phrase massage booking software versus Vagaro, which one's best, and then break down the pricing features, all that stuff, and then go about it that way. I think those types of articles are really effective when it comes to SEO for SaaS products anyways. So I'm just taking a slice out of the book there. And I would do the same thing with all of these competitors. It probably comes to no surprise that Massage Book, as well as the other competitors, are pretty centered around the scheduling feature. That's kind of the main one that you see with all of these softwares. In the case of Massage Book, I think a great feature they added is an all in one website. And I think that's super smart because massage therapists probably don't need a fancy website. You just need to be able to schedule clients, accept payments, and pretty much that's it. Pricing is really all over the place. There are some really cheap massage booking softwares that cost $10 a month. This one's kind of right in the middle. $20 to $40 a month. There are other ones on this list that are $80 a month, so it's kind of scattered. But pricing and features aside, I think the number one challenge with a SaaS in this space is being HIPAA compliant. And here we can see on Reddit, people are asking for the best scheduling and HIPAA compliant softwares in the subreddit for massage therapists. And I did some digging and I think this is pretty consistent with what other people are looking for. So this is a pretty popular request. Taking all that into consideration, call me crazy, but I still think that this idea has legs. I think the game plan is just very SEO focused because there are so many people, so many massage therapists looking for software, maybe even using a modern UI as your differentiator, because a lot of people complain that these look and feel outdated when they implement it in their massage business. So those are three different directory and SaaS combos that I think someone out there should go and build. I have found a lot more of these, so let me know if you want to see more breakdown videos like this. Maybe I am in over my head, but I truly believe that I can build one of these seemingly easy and simple SaaS products on the back end of a directory. But let me know if this is a delusional take. Let me know any tips that you have if you did build a SaaS before, because I would love to hear it. I've actually wanted to build one of these SaaS and directory combos since 2022, the very first year I started building directories. So I'm probably going to give it a shot. With that, I appreciate you watching. Thanks so much for the support and I will catch you in another video. See ya.